Let's lift our hands as we worship with that song. See, come on, go ahead. Now we lift our hands to the King of Kings and just bless Him today. Worship Him from the depths of your heart. Worship Him with all that is within you. to us from January up till today he has called us out of many tribe tongue and people he has made us kings and priests he has given to us this wonderful grace and the gift of his spirit the gift of his presence he has chosen us even when there were other people naturally more qualified than us like Paul will always say that he came to save the sinners of whom I am chief. If you are grateful for all that the Lord has done in your life, is it okay for you to in three minutes open your mouth, raise a prayer of thanksgiving to him? For once, minute from the depth of your heart, give him a prayer of thanksgiving. Don't pray like you deserved it. Pray because you know, if not for his mercies, you'll not be where you are. Some of you are watching other people giving thanks to God. When you can lift your voice, you can stand, lie down, kneel down, however you want to, and just thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his faithfulness. 
He deserves our praise. He deserves our thanksgiving. Harada hasi turmoya. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high, high end. Oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high. Exalted the Lord, be exalted, O Lord, my God. O Son of Jesus, for you.
You know the song, let's all sing it. Your name is the strong power. I thought you didn't know the song. Jesus, to you belong God. There's nobody greater than you. When I call, you certainly make a way. to declare that's why i'm singing this song in this month of december everything that has been missing will be returned yeah. everything that has been stolen will be restored yeah. particularly there is a document belonging to somebody here 
that has been missing but the lord said within this week it will be returned that document will be found and i declare that whatever has been stolen away from your life from january till today because of this worship and this art of thanksgiving before this year end it will be restored double i said it will be restored double if you believe it scream aloud amen now clap those hands give god praise amen before you sit down i want you to walk up to two three people welcome them to the last pneumatech service for the year give them a prophetic welcome tell them to expect god to make the last greater than the first to make the end better than the beginning you will make a way your name is as strong as Jesus now take your seat in the presence of God welcome to New Matek the place of God's wisdom God's presence and what? I can't hear you. And what? This is Pneumatech. You are welcome. And for those that are coming for the first time, this is a house of worship, so we are not wasting time. It seems you didn't shout too much on Friday. Maybe you still want to shout some more. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19, it says, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. Do you know what it means to make merry? Merry is when you have eaten to your food, or when you have drunk so much. The noise you make after that is what we call Mary. Do you understand? Those many years ago when I was in boarding house, there's something we call sokis. How many of you know sokis? Yeah, I see them. Some of you are still doing it in your matrimonial home. You are still. Huh? Your wife will cook, you leave it and go and do sokis. You know, there's time for that. Amen. So sometimes when we have eaten so much, I don't know about the ladies, but for guys, we like eating in the bucket. It, say amen to that. Well, whether you say amen or not, I'm still anointed. So, when we have eaten so much and we are filled, we have to express it. That, you know, that energy has to be expressed. It has to be combusted. So sometimes we will carry the bucket and hit it and it is just praise galore amen now that is what it means to make merry and the bible says because of that i will glorify them and they shall not be small i will multiply them and they shall not be few so this is a house of worship of praise of thanksgiving and next year we are going to praise and worship god so much that the angels will send a petition to God asking him to allow them relocate to it you didn't hear what I said I said next year we will so praise and worship God that the angels will write a petition to God that they want to relocate and come to pneumatic now can you give God a preview of that praise Please be seated. More of that later. Amen. Because if I continue with this spirit, we will not do anything today. So let's uh, respect ourselves and go to the word. Is that true? The word of God is exalted in this place. So I welcome every one of us to this last service of the year. 
and i want you to expect so much god reserves the best for the last in john chapter 2 when the wine that jesus had turned from water was served the mc called the husband the groom and he said everyone serves the best wine first and when everybody are drunk they bring out the less and the inferior he said but you have saved the best for last god has saved the best for tonight as far as your life is concerned the blessing the grace the power the glory of god that will rest on you today will make up for all that has happened throughout this year and you will leave this place another man in the name of jesus amen and amen pastor moses you are welcome can we celebrate pastor moses god bless you god bless you a couple of friends are with us help me celebrate um, pastor alpha that's pastor alpha right can we give him a big big god bless you you're welcome sir so honored to have you so honored to have you pastor alpha is a pastor and doing great things for the lord we welcome you here to pneumatic and um, a dear friend and elder sister of mine is in this place uh, <laughs> amen you know there are some people that are all in one your friend your sister your auntie your everything pastor mrs barwa is here god bless you man god bless you man good to have you around you're welcome I hope that next year we'll be privileged to see Pastor Ephraim Barwa himself. Oh, definitely. So we are welcome, Pastor Hanatu Barwa. God bless you. Let's get to the word quickly. Tonight is an anointing service. Very prophetic and powerful. What God is going to be doing tonight. And I'm going to be as brief as I can. The anointing is the expression of the power, the grace of God. The anointing is a very important component as far as life, ministry, and all human endeavors is concerned in the kingdom. And God wants to cause his anointing to rest upon us this evening. The Bible says he crowns the year with his goodness and he causes our path. New King James translation of that verse it causes our paths to drop with abundance i think that's psalm 65 verse 10 or verse 12. it says it causes our paths to drop with abundance somebody will experience abundance this month yeah. abundance is not only in your finances abundance is in everything you need for life and godliness abundance of grace abundance of righteousness which we have already in the kingdom abundance of mercy abundance of his love abundance of his power abundance of favor yeah. receive it today in the name of jesus christ so we are going to do that just after the word if you came with your oil tonight i know we, i didn't announce it on friday but i think i announced it last sunday and i apologize for not announcing it at the night of wonders how many of us enjoyed night of wonders amen the lord be praised forevermore first samuel chapter 9 verse 27 and chapter 10 verse 1 very quickly and then we'll move into the word first samuel chapter 9 verse 27 as they were going down to the outskirts of the city samuel said to saul tell the servant to go on ahead of us and he went on but you stand stand here a while that i may announce to you the word of god and chapter 10 verse 1 then samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said it is it not because the lord has anointed you commander over his inheritance I read these two scriptures so that we will know that the word comes first before the anointing the anointing follows the direction of the word that's the reason why i'm doing a brief teaching tonight as i teach the power of the holy spirit through the word of god will rest on the anointing please bring it here bring it on stage so that i can just be soaking all the power that is coming by revelation 
and then after the word the anointing will follow so that we can understand what we are doing please listen carefully you see every miracle and every divine possibility that you will experience in the kingdom is majorly on the strength of understanding that is available to you per time did you hear what i said ask your neighbor if you heard what i said just now you were looking at the anointing amen put it here put it here just here everything you will receive in the kingdom is based on the amount of understanding you have so if you don't have an understanding of the anointing the mystery and the workings of the anointing even if you soak yourself in a drum of goya oil nothing will happen and it is important that we contend for understanding from god's word are we together now that has been in your life it has escaped every pneumatic service but it will be broken i said it shall be broken forever in the name of jesus many of you will leave this place and generational ancestral family yokes and burdens will fall off your life forever in the name of jesus what is the anointing very quickly the anointing is the holy spirit the anointing is the holy spirit isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 the spirit of the lord is upon me because the lord has anointed me so i am anointed because the spirit of god is upon me the anointing is the holy spirit is first a person before a substance that can come to work so the anointing oil is just a physical or a tangible expression of the person and the workings of the holy spirit acts chapter 10 verse 38 tells us that god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power somebody is receiving an anointing that will change his or her destiny that will change your life and your ministry in the name of jesus christ the anointing number two is the divine enabling of the holy spirit the anointing is the divine enabling of the holy spirit that makes life sweet and smooth yes write it like that the anointing is the divine enabling of the holy spirit that makes life sweet and smooth when the anointing is upon you life becomes sweet it becomes easy you no longer struggle you don't struggle for things things just happen you don't make things happen they happen for your sake did you get what i said you no longer will make things to happen they will happen for your sake because you have the anointing of god upon you number three the anointing is the power of god that makes it possible the power of god that makes it possible for sons and daughters of god to manifest their sonship the power of god that makes it possible for sons and daughters of god to manifest their sonship sonship is the right that has been given to us in christ jesus to manifest the authority the power and the glory and the grace of god in other words the right given to a man in christ jesus to act as god on the earth listen carefully to what i'm saying tonight don't just write listen he said for as many as received him to them he gave power to become the sons of god the word power there means authority he gave you the right to act in his place now god is the supreme ruler of heaven and earth he is the king of kings he is called the great i am he is called the most high all the names that god has sums us sums up his ability sums up what he can do and when the anointing comes on you it brings you to the class of god so you can live and act as god on the earth did somebody get that that means you are no longer afraid of things you are no longer afraid of circumstances and situations i told you yes i told you a few sundays ago that god has a ba god has degrees god has a ba Oh, no let me not use god again let me use us because everything that god is you are that's the mystery of i am did you hear what i said i was talking the holy spirit said no you have to change it the revelation just changed the reason why the book of john 
was written please help me with that the reason why the book of john was written is so that we can see the expression of the divine life of god in christ jesus why because christ came to model what you will become in god so that's why it is in john's gospel you find i am i am i am the door i am the way i am the shepherd i am the life everything that he is we are that's the mystery of i am that's why we say i am who he is therefore i am that i am so if god can be to you like he was to moses and the children of israel he was anything they wanted by time now that you are in christ jesus the anointing makes it possible for you to become i am in any situation so you have the following degrees you have a ba you are born again you have an msc you are a master over situations and circumstances you have a phd you have power over a host of devils it seems i came alone to pneumatic this night are you hearing what i'm telling you i am is my secret it's not just about being a minister the anointing for ministry is for service but without that anointing i still work as a son of god so the miracles don't end here in fact they start here and they continue outside are you hearing me so for you to manifest your sonship the anointing must come upon you everything that jesus was in scripture you have not only the right it is your inheritance to become if jesus raised the dead you can raise the dead if jesus healed the sick you can heal the sick if jesus casted out demons you can cast out demons next year i prophesy to you you will move from casting out jesus demons in the name of jesus to a point where at the sound of your name demons will flee somebody believe it shout the louder amen. amen in the name of jesus at least you saw the experiment on friday night aha uh -huh. number three the anointing is the power is it number three now number four the anointing is the empowerment for success god wants us to succeed in fact success is our dna in the kingdom you don't you shouldn't pray to succeed again when you are born again success is yours by default not just success as in commanding results and doing exploits but also success as in fulfilling god's plan and purpose for your life so you will not only do exploits you will not only command results but you will live in accordance to all that god has written concerning you jesus said i have come in the volume of books that is written of me so the anointing is the empowerment for success number five the anointing is divine enablement for exploit divine enablement for exploit life exploits in life in career in business in academics in ministry family life everything finances the anointing is what divine enablement for exploits they that do know their god daniel 11 32 shall be what be strong that's the anointing component they shall be strong and then they shall what do exploits number what now number six you are not following number what the anointing is the secret to distinctions the anointing is the secret to distinction you know one thing about the anointing the anointing is a supernatural law that vetoes any limitation that natural laws can place on you whoever you are before you were anointed does not matter once the anointing comes on you it turns you from an ordinary man to an extraordinary man from a natural man to a supernatural man you may not be physically beautiful according to the world but when the anointing comes on you you become the most preferred and the most deserving did you hear what i said the bible told us of the story of esther every day one maiden will be brought before the king to have one night with the king and go what was esther's preparation for 12 months she was smearing oil now esther is a very prophetic book maybe next year we'll do it, an exposition on it esther is a prophetic book that speaks about the operation of the kingdom of god the king there representing 
Jesus himself. The Bible says he had a custodian of the Chamberlain, Haggai. That man represents the Holy Spirit. He was the one that gave beauty preparations to the maidens. The king also had seven wise men. Their names were mentioned. When I checked their meaning, the meaning of their names in Persian language, I saw that the meaning of their names were traceable to all the qualities of the Holy Spirit in Isaiah 11 verse 2. I don't have time. I've done the studies before. Where he said the spirit of the Lord shall be upon him and the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding. Those seven guys there, each of their name, the meaning is side by side with all of the qualities of the Holy Ghost. And all he gave Esther to rob for one year was oil. Somebody say oil. Symbolic of the anointing. When the anointing comes on you, it distinguishes you. It makes you distinctive for exploit. Number what now? I love this one. The anointing is the power of God on demand. The anointing is the power of God on demand. Whenever I call your name, you will make a way. Your name is the strong tower, Jesus. Have you heard of people say there's an emergency, there's a trouble, there's a problem? Not when the anointing is available. An emergency becomes an opportunity for announcement. When there is an anointing. I was praying for somebody on Friday. And I prophesied to him. I told him, a senior military officer. I told him that the anointing upon your life from today will begin to create problems for you. Say amen to that. Because it's when those problems are solved that you will be recognized. And you'll be honored. People don't know what you carry. They don't know your worth. That's why they trivialize you. That's why they play with you. I'm talking to you, sir. Are you hearing me? Yeah. That's why family members, they can just joke with you anyhow. Your friends come around to visit you. And I say, hey, just said, hey. But when the anointing comes upon you, and there is a problem, and you arise to the solution from that day where was david he was in the bush when he was anointed by samuel i'm sure the the, the, the brother say eh, well okay for making us to stand you will go back to the bush again but when he slew goliath they forgot about the brothers the brothers had been in the army they joined through recruit recruits when david slew goliath there was no recruit no nda for him he became a captain immediately they say Saul has slain his thousands and David is ten of because one Goliath is equal to ten thousand. I prophesy to you tonight by the anointing that will rest upon your life today if you believe what I'm saying God will orchestrate a problem in your sphere of influence and you will become the solution to that problem and you will be announced because of that solution Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. in fact i'm just hearing in my ear now some of you when that problem is solved you'll be catapulted physically from your territory Amen. yes it will make you so needed that the people that are looking for your grace will say it's time to leave that city it's time to leave meduguri what are you doing in meduguri come to abuja what are you doing in abuja come over to london receive that grace now in the name of jesus christ what does the anointing do sit down quickly i've shown you what the anointing is what does the anointing do or functions of the anointing when it comes into your life it's important you know these things so that tomorrow when there is a situation or a crisis around you you will recall that it was said that this is what the anointing does. And that understanding naturally takes fear out of you. And helps you secure victory. Number one. The anointing is a yoke breaker. The anointing is a yoke breaker. In bracket, write this. The anointing destroys yokes. Removes obstacles. 
mountains and burdens. The anointing destroys yokes, removes obstacles and mountains. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, not before everybody, before the one that is anointed, you shall become what? A plain. Limitations are not generalized. They are personalized. What you cry and call a mountain, a man that is anointed, he may not have gone to school. He may not have gotten a PhD. He may not be very intelligent or have a business sense. He may even be broke. But I tell you the truth, if he's anointed, that mountain will definitely become a plane. He's a yoke breaker. You can be so anointed in a family that all the oppression and the yokes that the enemy has placed will naturally just break in one day. There's such a thing as that. There are measures of the anointing that in one day can break age-long captivity. Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass in that day. In that day. Some of you, the grace that will come upon you, especially those of you that are called into ministry, the grace that will come upon you by reason of this anointing after tonight, you will walk into families and your presence will literally shut down the reign of terror of darkness. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? They have been fasting for 40 days. Oh. No answer. They have been fasting year after year. But as soon as you walked in and greeted them, you saluted them. Senunku. Senu dezua. Instantly, the demons have an emergency meeting and say, it's time to vacate. When men like Riyad Bonke of Blessed Memory are going to do crusade, it's as if, I don't know, you, you just, you find even native doctors, they come out from the bush. All the people that they have been tying for many years, they come out with all the charm and summit. <laughs> now that grace is coming on somebody tonight. The grace for territorial deliverance. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. In that day, the burden will be lifted. The yoke destroyed. Why? The anointing. Number two. The anointing translates a man from being a captive to being a captain. Write it like that. The anointing translates a man from being a captive, 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 to being a captain. You are no longer bound. Rather, you are now the captain of salvation. The captain of the host. The one that God will use to bring emancipation. To bring mercy. Some of you, by reason of the anointing tonight, you will become a symbol of God's mercy in your generation. Take very serious what I'm announcing to you tonight, oh. You will become a symbol. It told what how did he say it in Hagar? Hagar chapter 2, I think the last verse is in verse 23 or so to Zerubbabel. He said, I will make you my signet. You become God's seal of mercy. When men see you, mercy has shown up for them. How many of you want that? It's coming upon you by the anointing tonight. Number three. The anointing eliminates delay and cancels stagnation. Listen, let me finish it. The anointing eliminates delay, cancels stagnation, and delivers supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. <laughs> Tonight, everything I'm sharing with you, I've experienced it. Uh, this is not cunningly devised fable. I'm not just preaching a good sermon. I have experienced this thing. That because of the anointing, God can pick a man. Two years ago, I met a man. He's in Brazil now. He's deputy defense attache for Nigeria to Brazil. He's going to be there for about three or four years. Next year, his wife and his family, they will join him there. How did we meet? Two years ago, he was in the bush in Kaduna fighting bandits. I was here. And I remember that particular night I was praying. He is a husband to someone I know very well. And then I saw a vision 
of an attack of death and i prayed against it i sent the text to the woman i told her this is what the enemy is planning but it is cancelled the story came because six hours after that she was called and she had to go to abuja that her husband was hospitalized but when she went there she saw that he was completely fine and then he began to share the story with her that exactly that hour as they confirmed exactly that hour they were under attack by bandits and while they were lying on the ground you know shooting and all of that his driver by you know fear instinctively jumped into the hillocks and drove over him true story she's one of our partners mrs hawa victory you know her she's she's in kaduna she will come here true story drove over him with a hillocks they took him to the hospital there was not one broom broken somebody said the anointing they gave him the phone i prayed with him i said in the name of jesus your night is turned into day your season has changed from that bed a letter was sent i don't know whether they had delayed the course for long or what but he was flown to pakistan he went on the course he came back from pakistan they promoted him squadron leader from there they took him and made him the two ic of the special forces school nigerian air force in bauchi he was there during covid because of that during covid i traveled by air to and fro when the airports were shut down and then finally last year they took him to kainji because you know there was a time nigeria bought aircraft supano uh, tucano aircraft and all of that so there were some inspections they would do before they finally released the aircraft so they took him to kainji to serve there he called me and told me this what happened i said you will not stay there long you are moving less than two weeks after that statement because of the anointing they moved him from there to the chief of air staff's house and they made him the escort officer the chief security officer of the chief of air staff i met him in abuja he brought a seat and i told him that before you finish serving your god there will be one major favor he will do that surpasses everything the favor is, is in brazil deputy defense attache somebody say the anointing no this is not a man if i was not anointed that is not possible delay is converted overnight in two years this is somebody now that has bought houses and lands in different places carry the anointing oh this life but anything you do at the end of it carry ministry will be frustrating without the anointing sir if i was not anointed i would have been broke i don't know but it's like they don't give him a degree oh. let me be very honest with you 70 to 80 percent of my blessing comes from outside here you may not be known but when you are anointed there is a wave and a signal over you that communicates with the spirits of people in different places and that's why it's good to be disciplined with all of that i never asked for one cobble one day one cobble i've been a blessing oh yeah give one cobble for one day there's no need the thing that produced it is here there's no need somebody you will never beg after tonight in the name of jesus first kings chapter 18 the last verse the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he guided his loins the hand of the lord is symbolic of the anointing ahab was already on his way with chariots but the bible says ahab over elijah overtook ahab and the chariots a man running with legs overtook horses and waited for them at the gate of Jezreel. Somebody say the anointing. The anointing can give you speed that human beings cannot account for. Receive that grace tonight. Amen. Even Jesus needed the anointing because delay is a very powerful weapon in the hand of the enemy. Delay means to impede the process of progress to retard or to hinder that's delay 
to impede your progress to retard or to hinder even jesus needed the anointing john chapter 6 a story about the disciples the bible says as they were rowing through the sea verse 18 to verse 21 the storm was against them toiling all night the bible says jesus was on the mountain praying and then he walked on water to them the bible says as soon as they recognized him they brought him into the boat and as soon as he got into the boat immediately they were where they were going to watch this the bible says that they saw jesus walking towards them towards them means opposite isn't it so jesus was coming from their destination meanwhile they left jesus on the mountain praying that's because when you are anointed god makes your beginning the end of others where others are expected to get to that's where you begin from so the people of the world say the sky is your limit but the anointing makes the sky your starting point immediately jesus got into the boat the same speed by the anointing remember he was jesus the christ the word christ there is the anointed immediately the boat got to where they was we were going to even jesus needed the anointing to break delay over his life many of you didn't think that jesus suffered from delay luke chapter 2 tells us that when jesus was 12 years old he was already bamboozling the doctors of the law and pharisees with questions they could not answer yet he was answering their question he was already walking in wisdom in grace yet he had to wait 18 years extra so he was the son of god it was prophesied about his coming he will be the messiah but for 30 years nothing happened his ministry was grounded but the bible says in luke chapter 3 that when he came out of the river jordan the spirit of god rested on him the power of the anointing go over to luke chapter 4 verse 14 and jesus returned in the power of the spirit and immediately his fame spread abroad what he couldn't do for 30 years without poster without announcement somebody said the anointing even jesus needed the anointing and tonight if you are humble to receive a measure is coming on you some of you here that are called into ministry you have seen the hand of god in ministry but god wants to make things easy for you he wants to add an extra anointing for finances you know one of the vows sir you know one of the vows i made when we started this ministry they don't know but i made the vow in my heart you know some people go when they want to do ministry they go and bury cows in the church witchcraft is happening Meduguri, we are preserved go to the south you will see all kinds of things they'll bury cow there and everything and they say they are taking the star of the people me i didn't take anybody's star i just told god that in this ministry for as long as it will span as far as giving to your work is concerned there should not be more than one person that will give beyond me next year one sunday i will do something i will ask you to give your best then i'll multiply it by two and give it i won't tell you this sunday one sunday i'll do it next year. okay i won't do it the way you are looking at me like this say ah this one now nah. that the other boy did it I, you see him I, I heard the story i think from him or someone he went to preach somewhere or so and he asked them to give an offering take an offering and uh, okay i think it was that they were sharing about he saw it in kenneth Hagin's ministry a couple came out they were you know donating money for cr crusades and other things kenneth Hagin's ministry so a couple came out and the couple said everybody should give that they will give twice as much as everybody has given they gave him millions they counted it the couple says this is all you can do the people got angry and gave more when they finished, the couple tore their check and wrote three times the amount. Millions of dollars. May that anointing rest upon you. Yeah. I said may that anointing for wealth rest upon you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing. It breaks, it takes away yokes. It removes delay. 
Psalms 90 verse 14. Stand up. I want us to pray this as a prayer. Psalms 90 verse 14. When the anointing comes, speed becomes natural. Delay is over. Retrogression, stagnation comes to an end. He said, Oh, satisfy us early with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. It's not enough just to see the mercy of God, but let it come early. Mercy there means anything. It means abundance. It means finances. It means anything any kind of exploits that you need he said give it to us early i don't want to be 50 years and start building a house no i don't want to pastor a church for 10 years and i have just 20 members no oh satisfy us early with your mercy can you raise your voice for one minute and turn that to a prayer satisfy me maritally ministerially financially spiritually satisfy me early i've waited for too long oh satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days are you praying Satisfy us early. Let this year not end without something tangible. Something that becomes a proof of your grace and the anointing upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated. We are almost done. Number four, the anointing opens doors. Revelations 3 verse 8. I know your works. See, I've set before you an open door. The anointing opens doors for you. It gives you uncommon access. Uncommon access. There are places I've entered. There are people I've met with. There are pictures that I may not allow to go on social media maybe for five years. Because it will create problems for me. It will create, you know, unripe manifestation. I don't believe in in ministry i believe god should lift you i don't believe in using people's endorsements no there are people i've met not because of my degree or anything because of the anointing big names the anointing opens doors number six is that number six or number five number five the anointing provokes favor <laughs> The anointing provokes favor. I want you to hear this. Labor gives you what you deserve. Favor gives you what is reserved. Yeah. Put it as a ha hashtag. Put it online. Labor gives you what you deserve. Matthew chapter 10. He says a laborer is worthy of his what? Wages. That is merit. But favor will give you what is reserved. It's called honor. There are two kinds of doctorate a man can receive. It's either he receives doctorate by merit or doctorate by honor. They call it honorary doctorate. I saw that one of these, is it Obi Kubana or what? They gave him a doctorate degree recently. Only God knows the class of degree he graduated with. Somebody say favor. If you only get what you deserve in this life, you are living by labor. You are living by struggle. That's what I told. I told. I was talking with an officer yesterday, military officer. She was telling me about an exam they wrote, and how that the first ten who pass among a hundred plus people, that there is a special course that they do those first 10 will go abroad but she didn't come first 10 actually she came 12th or 13th or so and i said because of you they will make it the first 20. or one person will lose his place in that number one to ten and they'll put you there she said ah sir it's not fair that this exam is you know people labored for it 
That was when I told that labor will give you what you deserve. Favor gives you what is reserved. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Favor is our own charm in the kingdom. People that consult witches and wizards, they don't, they don't pity you when they exclude you from the blessing. So when you carry favor, just pray for the others because you'll be number one. Esther 2 verse 15. Others had gone before Esther. Thank God they all went before Esther. At least they enjoyed. Because all the other ones that went after Esther, nothing for them. The Bible says, and God gave Esther favor in the sight of all that set eyes on her. And instantly the crown came on her head. That means if there were still 100 virgins, the king said, contest is over. Go to your villages. Imagine if Esther was the first. That was the end. Now some of you, that's the anointing that is coming on your life today. You have... You have struggled for too long. It's time, if it, if, it, if it is by your certificate, if it is by the normal sequence of promotion, before you get to level 14, you would have been growing gray heads. In federal ministry, that they don't pay so much. But when favor is on your life, favor can so be on your life somebody will covenant himself to you i'll be giving you millions every month eh? it looks like dream but to you is dream oh that's somebody's reality i won't call the name of the person favor there are three things you must have if you must do ministry if you must do the work of the kingdom if you must serve god in any sphere there are three things you don't move until you have it wisdom favor and the anointing don't step out in life without these three if one is missing stay and content for it first and if god is not answering you look for somebody that carries that grace and connect the gifts and the callings of god are without repentance if god has placed the grace on pastor alpha and i'm praying and crying day and night and god will not give it to me it's a simple thing covenant connection it will flow god will not be there to regulate the flow you don't understand that's the reason why sometimes let me just say this quickly that's why sometimes i'm not a money pastor but let me just say this so that our understanding can be corrected because the, you you know many of us we don't honor the gift of god's grace in people in form of men and women of god and that's the reason why many we have escaped many things that should make for our lifting so somebody is believing god for something big something worth millions for example and this is somebody who is what in five zeros and then he brings a seed of ten thousand naira first of all that was first an insult to your faith first of all because the bible says he that soweth sparingly will reap sparingly he that soweth bountifully god cannot be mocked he can't give ten thousand and he gives one million both of them from their heart and god will bless him like him never that's why unbelievers seem to be blessed more in some geographical locations than believers we don't understand connection where is john this when pastor meliflos came i told him to make you know he makes this footwear john from technical department what he made was worth over twenty-four thousand naira. i forced him to collect money refused to collect it and he made it in in a few days i told him that because of this i put a problem on your life that you'll be working every day till the next time i come to you you can ask him that's exactly what's happening so when when you want to honor when you are caught see i don't pray for everything though let me tell you i don't pray for everything anything i know is already existing on earth there's no need to pray Your children are disturbing you. And God has blessed Pastor Mrs. Anatu. They have wonderful children who love God and they fear God. After all your night vigils and they refuse to answer your prayer, take an Isaac and walk. Let favor do it for you. God will not monitor the transference of grace. 
the same angel that tamed our children will just automatically shift to your house and tame your children it's a very simple thing i'm not preaching mammon i'm just telling you this is the kingdom what did it for abraham met melchizedek after fighting war and gathering a lot of spoils you should take some for yourself and be rich the bible says he gave melchizedek a tithe of all reason what can you give a king that the king doesn't have melchizedek was a king he had in abundance for many of us think that those who have should not be given so we stay with those who are the needy we say hey, we are the ones in need we should keep receiving and the poor jesus said you have with you always he said but me you have not always Melchizedek didn't need that thing. He was a king. But Abraham understood honor. And the next chapter, God came to him. God said, I've given myself to you. I am your shield and your exceeding reward. Even in hell, Abraham had space that devil didn't enter. The Bible called it Abraham's bosom. Please be seated. I don't know why I'm preaching this on the last day. <laughs> Are we blessed tonight? Don't worry, it's the last service. So I think if, it's, if we take all the time, it's worth it. The anointing provokes favor. Provokes favor. Number six, the anointing is your weapon of destruction against the enemy and your symbol of preservation. So it's a double-edged sword. When they say double-edged sword, it means a sword that can cut on both sides. It's a weapon of destruction against the enemy and a symbol of preservation over you. What did he say in Psalms 105 verse 14 to 15? He suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet so as abraham and his people they went from place to place there was a seal of god's anointing upon them touch not that's what the anointing says to your enemies touch not touch not touch not touch not god appeared to abimelech in the dream of the night he said you are actually dead the only reason why i have not finished you is because abraham has dominion and authority here so go and meet him because if you don't the angel of death will finish you and the bible says i don't know what 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 was what was abimelech's prop he just took abraham's wife he had not even slept with her he just took the woman and god shot the womb of all the women in his house including the slave that knew nothing about it god can kill a nation for one man god can silence witchcraft in an entire village for one person While they are having their meeting in the night, an angel will appear there and mention your name and say, from today, the disease from this family. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is your weapon. When you carry the anointing, you are preserved. You are protected. Not in this wicked world full of evil, where the innocent die, where the good die. Somebody say, why do bad things happen to good people? Welcome to earth. That's what happens. I don't know whether it happens in mass in jupiter in, but on earth just because you are good and say so ah, boy he's a nice person why did he die niceness is not a fruit of the spirit there's nothing spiritual about niceness now when the anointing comes upon you and god begins to lift you you become an enemy of hell by default and therefore if you are anointed you must be offensive some of you are too gentle that's why some levels of grace have not come on you you are just too gentle you know why the enemy will always attack a man anointed it is because your lifting is not just about you your lifting is tied to kingdom come for every time god lifts you and blesses you the kingdom is advanced therefore you become an enemy of hell god knows that if he blesses you one thousand children will go off hunger in meduguri and when you feed one thousand children in this city 
You don't know that poverty is a demon. So all the demons, they say, leave everybody. Let's face this man. Wreck his finances. Because when you wreck his finances, 1,000 children will suffer hunger and die. So it's, rather than fight and kill 1,000, let's just... But today, the anointing common upon you brings exemption. Amen. Exemption and deliverance over your life. Amen. Let me tell you the truth. I can't remember when last I slept and had attack in my sleep. That I go to sleep and I'm afraid that they will come and press me. I off the light because the light will not allow me to sleep. And I sleep. If they get liver, may they come. Those days when we're, you know, doing all those warfare prayers, those things they helped us somehow. There's one song we used to sing: "If not die, let them die." Eh, 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 don't sing. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? I've seen many people died because of misguided arrows, arrows that fly by day. Someone that would have done great things for the kingdom, someone that would have helped humanity, just slaughtered like a chicken because there were no anointing david said in second samuel chapter 1 i think in verse 12 he said why did saul died as though he was not anointed but today the anointing for preservation comes on your life in the name of jesus christ number what the anointing gives you supernatural intelligence first john chapter 2 verse 20 he said, but you have an unction from the Holy One. You have an anointing from the Holy One. And you know all things. You know all things because you have an anointing. Verse 27. Now this anointing is a person. He said, but the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. And you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning how many things? Concerning how many things? All things. Students, can I teach you how to read? When you are reading for exams, both undergraduate, postgraduate, and everything. Now, you are not using Juju to know the mind of the lecturer and know where he will set the exams. Many people fail exams not because they don't know. They know it's just that they didn't know sufficient enough to pass. Or they didn't know that it, the questions will come from this angle. Huh? I remember an exam we wrote years ago while we were in school, 100 level. What is, it? is it plant biology? What they call that? Bi ah, we're used to MCQs and all of that. Then we saw that the year before us, it was filling the blanks, all true, and I was told that many of them failed. So we went and rehearsed the que past questions very well. And after rehearsing it, I went to ground to pray. When we came for exams, they started sharing answer booklet. Literally, I heard one brother shouting in the hall. He said, we are finished. We'll fail. In the hall. In my mind, I said, ah, guy, calm down now. Hmm. I won't tell you how I did, but I pass. Because if I tell you what I did, many of you will be lazy. You will not, you want to do it. But can I tell you how to read? When you want to read for an exam? Hmm? Go to the ground. Pray in tongues until you are saturated with the anointing. You know the way you used to feel when you pray? Make sure you feel like that. Then go back to class. Open that handout. And watch what happens. You deploy the anointing for spiritual things, but your, the natural things of your life, you have been telling God that I can handle it. That's why there is nothing, there is nothing spiritual about your reading. You don't even pray before you open the handout. You just go to class, open it. That's why you are sleeping after 15 minutes. You try it. Go, let pray till the anointing comes on you. Then open your book. Ha! Isaiah 11 verse 3. King James translation. And shall make him of quick understanding. You know what quick understanding means? Quick assimilation. When you are reading a handout of 113 pages, tonight, tomorrow is the exam, 7 a.m. Where do you read from? 
that's when you need the anointing when you speak in tongues the mysteries of the holy ghost go there the holy ghost will say open here you open read open here you open read open here you open read that's okay close it and sleep then you are going to the hostel your mates are laughing you after the exam we'll see who laughed last are you hearing what i'm saying supernatural intelligence inventive ideas of the holy ghost there is a businessman they call Demas Shekerian, the founder of Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship. How did he become a millionaire in the U.S. from from farming? He said then he was, you know, milking cattle, selling milk products and all. That when he goes to the store where they keep the cattle, now it's a 50-50 chance. You don't know which cattle has milk and is productive. Some will look fat and fresh, but they don't have the milk. He will go there and when he stands there and they are bringing all the cows out according to him he will see like a light shining on one of the cattle and he will tell them give me this one they say no 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 take this one this one is looking he said no give me this one and when he takes that cattle it becomes very productive and his farm his diary business in one year broke into millions and they found their full gospel businessmen and they they are all in 150 countries or 180 countries over the world he's one of the people sponsoring some of these major crusades you see supernatural intelligence many of us do business with our natural sense you know where you are coming from you know that biologically that place they are olodo now that you are in christ jesus invoke what the anointing can bring into your life say amen to that from Olodo to first class in Jesus name Amen. Daniel and his friends were 10 times better 10 times better 10 times better why their secret was the anointing and then number nine eight okay there's one I missed I will not give you the anointing brings supernatural healing. James chapter 5 verse 14 to 15. We're about to pray now. Please come remove this cloth. James chapter 5 verse 14 to 15. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Anointing him with what? Oil. In the name of the Lord. What will happen? And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the lord shall raise him up and if you have committed sins they shall be what forgiving him that means according to this scripture god will even heal you first before forgiving you according to this scripture by the anointing smith wiggles what one of the great healing apostles he understood the mystery of the anointing everywhere he went he went with his bottle of oil and god used him to raise many dead people this anointing coming on you today everything that has been shared tonight will become a literal manifestation in your life literally many of you will walk into a realm of divine supernatural results you will know that something came on you tonight rise up there are two ways among many other ways you can receive the anointing before we pray Number one, through a lifestyle of genuine praise and worship. If you cultivate the habit of praise and worship, every time you praise and worship God, the anointing is stirred up. But number two, which is more important, a lifestyle of purity and sanctification. Exodus chapter 30 verse 30 to 32. 30 verse 30 to 32. And thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them. That they may minister unto me in the priest's office and thou anointing oil what he described it as holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations verse 32 my emphasis upon man's flesh shall it not be poured john chapter 3 verse 6 i believe he says that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit if you are not born again the anointing cannot work on you it is called the holy anointing oil before we pray tonight i want to make an altar call 
honorably this will be the last altar call for the year why we all stand everywhere and there are no movement let's honor god for this moment just in case there is anybody amongst us here either here on ground or following online your ways are not right with the lord you want to receive jesus into your life as your lord and personal savior you have not done it openly you have not openly confessed jesus as your lord and savior or you want to rededicate your life to him so that you can qualify to receive the anointing that is coming today so that you can qualify to receive the blessing that is coming wherever you are i want you to raise your right hand so that we can pray there is no mistaking about it if you know that you have not received jesus into your life as your lord and savior or perhaps you were born again before but many things happened and you derailed and now you want to reconcile with god again wherever you are please raise your right hand let's bring you back get you born again so that you can be a recipient of this wonderful treasure called the anointing if you are raising your right hand raise it up god bless you i'm seeing a hand can we clap can we clap i'm seeing a hand there god bless you just as i am without one plea but that thy blood was shed now if you raise your right hand please come to the front so that i can pray with you take a step to the front take a step to the altar so that i can pray with you and let's celebrate god for them as they come god is talking to somebody right now if god is talking to your conscience please join up with them keep clapping they are coming keep clapping they are coming let's celebrate god for souls be reconciled to jesus tonight so that you can receive the precious anointing keep clapping to that all out please let's honor god for them can we stretch our hands towards them those of you in front i celebrate you for making this noble decision and before i pray if god is talking to you you may be saying apostle i want to come out but oh, they are all ladies there there's nothing about gender in christ in christ there is no jew or gentile there is no male or, male or female no circumcision or, un, or non-circumcision you want to receive him tonight you want to be reconciled to him why don't you join them up as god is witnessing to your conscience right now join them and be restored into the family of faith so that you can receive god's precious treasure which is the anointing those of you in front please put your right hand on your chest with your eyes closed i want you to say this prayer from the depth of your heart say after me lord jesus and those following online please you can repeat the prayers after them say lord jesus i come to you today i repent of my sins i believe that you died and rose again for my salvation therefore today i receive eternal life thank you for saving me today i am born again in jesus name father i pray for these ones and i declare by the authority of your word that their sins are forgiven we declare that they are now born again not of the will of flesh or the will of man but of god we declare that they are saved and sealed by your blood and i pray that you place your seal of redemption which is your spirit upon them let your spirit come upon them tonight may their lives never remain the same let every demonic infestation in their lives before now be terminated by the power of the anointing and by the power of your blood we declare that they will live victoriously above sin above satan above hell above death and they will serve you all the days of their life in jesus mighty name amen amen and amen god bless you i salute you for making this noble confession you are now born again and you are restored in the family of god i want you to just take your left there is a lady waving our counselors will attend to you god bless you please celebrate god for them
I need you, oh, I need you, every I need you, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. Now tonight, this is oil but after the prayers it will no longer just be oil it becomes the very symbol of the anointing of the holy spirit the grace of god is coming upon it as this oil makes contact with you everything around your life will respond in accordance to the will of god concerning you in the name of jesus Please, I want us to really believe. You have to mix faith with what we are doing tonight. Okay? Believe God for impossible things to become possible. That captivity that has trailed you from the beginning of this year is coming to an end tonight. Amen. Isaiah 10, 27 says, It shall come to pass in that day. In that day, the burden will be lifted. Just one day. Because of the touch of the anointing. And the Lord will do us good in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, can you talk to God briefly? Just talk to God. Place a request via the anointing that you are about to receive. Place a request before Him. Through the mystery and the power of the anointing. Oh, I feel His presence strong. I feel His power very strong. Yes. Yes, play that. Please talk to him. The power of God is in this place. Me now, my Savior, I come to Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder Strings play Consider The most I have Talk to him in one minute Let yokes be broken tonight. Let bodies be lifted. Let favor come upon your children. Let there be ease. Let grace be multiplied. Let their story change tonight. Let their expectation be delivered. Tonight, I say, God, to me, how will thou, in Jesus' name we pray. Those of you that brought your oil, please lift it up. If you didn't bring an oil, it's fine. It's okay, just connect to us by faith. When the anointing comes on you, when you go back, you can bless an oil. You are already anointed, so you can bless an oil and then use it. I want to say this before I pray for the oil. The oil is not the anointing. It is a symbol. Okay? That means it is used as per the directives of the holy spirit by time and i believe tonight that whatever this oil that you are holding in your hands will be used for you will experience divine results and uncommon testimonies in the name of jesus christ it is your faith mixed with the prophetic declarations that will come on it right now that makes it a symbol of the holy ghost and as it comes on you 
miracles will break forth in your life miracles of every kind miracles of creation miracles of restoration miracles of transformation miracles of translocation miracles of enthronement miracles of enlargement the lord will do us good in jesus name father in the name of jesus i stand with all the graces that i hear your servants here and tonight in the holy congregation of your people we declare that this oil is blessed we declare that from today the power of the holy ghost rests upon this oil i declare right now that whoever makes contact with this oil will experience your power will experience your grace will experience your glory will experience your goodness let impossible situations become possible let there be a turnaround in the lives of your children let them become signs and wonders to their generation in the name of jesus christ let this oil fight every demonic cause in their lives let this oil silence the mouth of the grave over them in the name of jesus christ and i declare finally that this oil will be an oil of judgment against the wicked judgment against the wicked second thessalonians 1 5 he says seeing that is a righteous thing with god to repay with tribulation those that trouble you i declare by this oil everyone that wishes you evil receive divine judgment right now in the name of jesus christ it will be an oil of favor an oil of gladness and joy joy will not depart from your tent it will be an oil of enlargement and enthronement in jesus precious name we have prayed somebody say amen. amen now if you had the oils with you while we prayed the oils have been blessed with these oils you will see signs and wonders wrought in your life anoint the sick with it and they will be healed put it on impossible situations and they will become possible put it upon your head and declare and everything you declare will manifest in the name of jesus christ remember i said the anointing will only operate in purity and sanctification so don't think that because you have oil now you can go and mess around and misbehave and the oil work no samson tried it and the oil left him amen so you must maintain a life of purity and consecration don't touch this oil and then go to a shrine don't touch this oil and then travel to your village during christmas and go and stay before one baba it won't work light and darkness have nothing in common there are people who like to mix they think you can play god let's mix the oil and the prayer of the pastor with uh, this one is a baba he reads psalms it doesn't work like that he said choose this day whom you will serve as for me and my heart we will serve the lord you want to serve god serve him wholeheartedly stand with him and the oil would work for you in jesus name uh, bishop please come uh, pastor let's please uh, help me welcome pastor hanatu barwa please come back we have just two bowls amen we have just two bowls so i just pour the oil in the bowls i wish we had more i would have um, um, allowed our ministers Let's do something. Please, uh, Pastor Moses, please come. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Pastor Alpha, please come. Please celebrate God for them. Now, this is what will happen, okay? Uh, I'll pray for them. They will be anointed. And then we'll, I don't know, I think, I think we need four lines, two this way to this way so the protocol you help us arrange it right now we need two lines here two lines here they will just come from their seat and um, when they when you get to them they will anoint you okay <laughs> and please be humble okay these are servants of god all right if you don't want them to anoint you it's fine you can just dip your hand in the oil and then anoint your your head but when you get to them because you know we have spiritual consultants in our midst Say, no anointing can touch me. Ah. Everything we have received from God. Amen? Aha. So please, listen carefully. 
get to them they will anoint your head all right and then put a little of the oil on your hand and then you go to your seat and just be praying there are some prayers i will lead us to pray after everyone has been anointed and then i'll speak over our lives and we are done tonight is that okay please give us real worship debbie please come give her a mic i need real worship okay just let's just have a very wonderful time of worship just exalt god and so that his presence can be strong in this place okay we'll just the, the worship team will raise a session of worship and we'll do that quickly when we are done then i will pray and speak over us finally is that okay did we get the instruction so those of you that came with oil you can put your oil down now and let's deal with this okay and then after that uh, we'll round up tonight so pastor, pastor maybe let yeah yes pastor moses and uh, pastor hanatu please you take the right bishop pastor alpha you take this way and then uh, let's have so you just come the protocol and the ushers will direct you you just go they'll anoint you put some in your hand and then you go back to your seat either you join the worship or you begin to pray tell god anything you want to see in your life okay Hosanna, please lead for lead for me. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Those of us sitting here, the leaders, you are exempted. After everybody is anointed, the leaders here, and then the pastors, I will anoint us here. After everybody, before we pray, okay? So please go on. Lord, we lift up.
you can talk to your God. done right okay now I will anoint the protocol myself uh, but the rest of us we can just just touch the oil and anoint yourself with it father we declare it blessed we declare that as it goes on them another measure of the anointing comes upon them in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus get me the oil let me anoint the protocol Where's the protocol and the leaders? I said I will anoint the leaders and the protocol, okay? So where are the leaders? Jesus Christ. Let every sickness be terminated. Lack and poverty comes to an end. An increase in grace. An increase in grace. Pastor Anatu, thank you so much. Pastor Moses, Pastor Alpha, all the ministers, thank you for that. Psalm 79, verse 11. The first prayer is for preservation, preservation from death. Psalm 79, verse 11, and then 68, verse 20. Let the sign of the prisoner come before thee, according to the greatness of thy power. Do what? Preserve thou those that are appointed to die. 
you can be giving us in king in new king james if you don't mind according to the greatness of your power preserve those who are appointed to die i want you to raise your voice in one minute and declare that by this anointing you are preserved from death you and your family raise your voice and pray 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 Preservation from death, from evil. No more untimely death in my family. No more sudden death. I will end the year with goodness. He said, with long life, will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. Unto God belongs escape. No arrow of death that flies by day. Or terror by night will touch you. No plan of the wicked one will bring demise to your home. Jesus name we pray prayer number two preservation from evil psalms 121 verse 7 to 8 it said the lord preserve you from all evil somebody say all evil not some all evil arrows that fly by day and terror by night it's a pestilence that walketh in darkness and destruction that wasted at noonday i want you to raise your voice i declare by the anointing I am preserved from all evil. From all evil. Jesus. Ah. Name we pray. Repeat after me, say Father. Father. Shout it again, say Father. Father. I declare. I declare. By this anointing. By this anointing. Divine favor. Divine favor is provoked is provoked over my life over my life now now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray Divine favor, access to resources, access to opportunity, access to the Jesus. Name we pray. Daniel eleven thirty two. Verse the, the last part of that verse. But those who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. 
I want you to lift up your voice and say, Father, Father, I declare, I declare, and decree, I decree, by the power of this anointing, by the power of this anointing, exploits, exploits, and uncommon results, and uncommon results, begin to happen in my life, begin to happen in my life, from today, from today, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. my name we pray amen now lift your hands they are new every morning new every morning Father, I stand by the privilege of the election of grace. You appeared to me in 2018. You called me as an apostle. And you have placed me in this land for the purpose of your kingdom and for your people. I stand in that capacity this night in agreement with the corporate anointing in this house. And I declare over your people by the power of this anointing every demonic limitation that has been placed over their life every satanic embargo that has been manifesting recurring tragedy and events that are not of you that has kept them in one place for long in the name of Jesus Christ I declare by this anointing it is broken tonight I declare that the embargo is lifted tonight let the yoke be broken tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord showed me a vision while the anointing was going on and I saw rope very old ropes ropes that are made of touch tied together and I saw it melting as if it was burning in fire every ancestral limitation please help those under the anointing every ancestral limitation every bloodline limitation every evil rope that has tied the destinies of men I declare by the mystery of the anointing let it be destroyed forever let it be destroyed forever let it be destroyed forever in the name of Jesus I declare that this anointing on your life places a seal of divine exemption divine preservation preservation from evil preservation from attacks from armed robbery kidnapping banditry terrorism accidents every form of attack i declare that you are preserved from such and above all the attack of death is cancelled from your life that is cancelled from your life in the name of jesus anyone that has been marked for death before now it has been discussed and concluded in the covens of darkness 
that your blood will be spilled this December. I set fire on those covens now. I stand by the grace of apostleship and by the judgmental anointing. I set fire on those covens now. And I declare that your blood is preserved. Listen to me. I declare to you, not one drop of your blood will be spilled on the ground. From now to the end of this year. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying it again. I cancel accidents. By this anointing, I cancel accidents. If they have marked the vehicle you will enter, I forbid you from entering that vehicle. If they have set the day that you will be terminated by accident, I declare that it will not happen in the name of Jesus. He said, but my horn you will exalt as the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please put your right hand on your head. Father, I release your power right now and I declare by this anointing, anyone that has been on one spot for long, let the mystery of divine lifting happen in their life tonight. I declare, just the way Joseph was lifted in one night, from being a prisoner to being the second in command in Egypt, Tonight, by the power of this anointing, I declare you lifted. I declare you lifted. I declare you lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. He raises the poor from the dust and the needy from the dunghill and makes them sit amongst kings and princes. I declare that this anointing will exalt you. It will put you among those that matter. It will put you among influential people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your hands together. Your hands are a symbol of your work. A symbol of all that you do. I declare by the power of this anointing, let all that you do prosper today. From today, 100% profit. In your business. In your finances. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every curse, every spell that has, that has been casted around your productivity, it comes to an end tonight. I said it comes to an end tonight. From today, whatever your hand touch will prosper. Whatever your hand touch will be blessed. I declare by this anointing that the fire of God will rest upon your hands. And by that fire, begin to heal the sick. Amen. Deliver the oppressed. Amen. Cast out devils. Amen. Raise the dead. Amen. Shift men to their place in destiny. Amen. Let that fire rest upon your hands right now. In the name of Jesus. I declare that you are blessed. Your going out and coming in is blessed. Amen. Your going out and coming in is preserved. Amen. For the students, I declare that your exams are with exploits. Amen. All round exploits. Amen. Those of you that are still writing, you have touched the oil with your hands. Every course you write from, to, from tomorrow, receive A's in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive distinctions in the name of Jesus. And I declare for the student, as you study and prepare for the exams, for those that have written and those that are still writing, any lecturer, man or woman, as long as they are born of a woman that has vowed that you will not pass that course, that you will carry over, that you will spill over, threatening to victimize you, today I declare may the judgment of God visit them 
anyone that says you must come back they lose their job tonight anyone that has threatened that you will not pass that exam their hands will not mark your scripts by all means possible whether the devil likes it or not pass your exams and come out with success in the name of Jesus listen to me I believe in hard work and studying your books but I believe that favor will give you what is reserved therefore the best grades are reserved for you receive it in the name of Jesus for travelers go and return safely the Lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you be gracious unto you in Jesus mighty name we pray can we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus